It's your girl, Miss Brown Sugar, on deck. I am on a roll today. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Um, as you see from the title, this is going to be on the um, Dollar Tree product review. So, these are just a couple of products that I probably told y'all I was going to come back and tell y'all about. And I do want to do that. Um, I can't remember when I did the Dollar Tree haul, maybe a month ago. Three weeks. It's been a minute. So what I did was actually use it so I give you guys my honest review on each product and I'm gonna come in and tell you guys what I think about them, what I buy it again, yada yada yada. And if you guys like these videos, let me know because I will be doing a lot of product review videos um coming up. So yeah, so we're gonna get started because I don't want this video to be okay. too long. So yeah. I'm gonna start out with this apricot scrub exfoliator, right? It's supposed to exfoliate for smoother, healthier looking skin. Um, this is what it looks like, you guys. Pretty sure you guys seen this in your Dollar Tree. Um, yeah. So we're gonna get to what I think about it. My honest review. Show you guys what it looks like. You have never looked at it. It looks like that. And it does have like little scrubber, little bees or whatever. Um, the smell makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> I'm silly, y'all. I don't know why. I have used the Abricot Saint Eyes. Love it. And after using this, I think I'm going to go back to that. It's not that this doesn't work. Like, it works. It, you know, you put it in your skin. You can feel the beach. Scrub it in, just like any other scrub. And after you wash your face off, it feels... You know, kind of moisturizing. It doesn't feel drying or anything like that. It's just to me, it feels like it's not scrubbing it enough to me. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain. And I don't like the smell. That just that's my point. I mean, that's what I feel, you guys. I don't know what you guys you have if you have used it, if you like it or not. I just don't like the smell. The smell to me smells like a sour fruit, like an old fruit. Like I I'm silly, y'all. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't like the smell. I have used it a couple of times. Like I said, it works, but would I repurchase this again? Hey, guys, I want to do no. a product review on the Seabreeze Facial Wash. This is supposed to cleanse your face, gently cleanse, take all the impurities, all the dirt, all, all that out, and without having it old dry. Now, what do I think about this product? Let me tell you. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It's just clear, and it is not runny at all. It's not a runny type of consistency, which is good, because, you know, some runny, you think, like, oh, it's cheap. So it's not runny. Um, what you do is just lavender in your skin. Make sure your your face is already kind of moist. You lavender in your skin, and it does suds up very well on your skin. The only thing I would say bad about this is, like, once you rinse it off, it doesn't, it says it's supposed to leave it not over drying. To me, it does. My face seems not over, but that's the thing. It, it doesn't leave it over drying, but my face still doesn't feel moisture, if you get what I'm saying. So, it doesn't feel make it feel over drying, but it doesn't feel moisture. It's almost like my face needs moisture after I use this cleanser. It does work. It does cleanse everything. It's just you have to moisturize your face as soon as you finish using this. Um, so, would I buy this again? Yeah. I mean, it does what it says. Clean your face off. Just make sure you have a good moisturizer and you're good to go. It didn't break me out or anything. So, I think this is a decent product. So, this is almost empty. So, I've been using it. Uh, this is the Dermacell All Free Daily uh, Facial Cream Hypoallergenic with vitamin A and E. It's supposed to intense moisture, leave it softer, smoother, while relieving like dryness of your skin. So, I have used this almost every freaking day since I had this product. Um, of course, we know the regular Dermacell is great. This is how it looks, just white. It has a different smell. It almost smells more like a baby powdery kind of lotion smell. Um, and it's day cream. Do I like this product? Yes. But for some reason, you guys, I would say the I would take the regular one over this one. And the regular one, you know, it, it's not, it's, it doesn't say facial cream, it's just lotion. But for some reason, I would take the regular one over this one. Um, it works. It does help with the drying, but it seems like 
it, it still seemed like I was had like still little dry patches that I had to keep continuously going in here to add on more of the day cream. Instead, if, if I use the regular one, I could just put one wipe, wipe it on my face, and I'm good to go. So, would I buy this again? Yeah, I mean, it works. That's all I can say, y'all. It works. It, it mean, it's Dermacell. So, I wanted to do a review on these lashes, which, as you see, is nothing in there. I'm like, what is lashes? I'm like, I'm gonna tell what happened. I nope. use the lashes. These are a dollar. I wish I had a picture of me with them on, so I can show you guys in the video. But these are those purple pack lashes that you see in Dollar Tree. And it, it seemed like it's supposed to come with a glue, but then Shabby Lady said that too. Um, but it didn't. You see, it was empty when I got it. But I can say, they had different styles. I can't remember the style I got, it's no name. It was just a nice, decent style. Smile. Smile. Style. <laughs> if you guys want to see the style, I did show these in the last Dollar Tree. And, um, I like them. They went on, uh, I put them on. If you, Okay, I'm gonna say this. If you're not used to putting on lashes, they're kind of thick. So, they may be a little hard for you to put them on. But if you're used to putting them on, then they're not gonna be a problem. So, I'm used to putting them on. They went on. They looked very natural, to be honest. So, um, I'm gonna get some more of these. You know, of course, you can't see them. But I did like them. So, what happened was, I was taking on my makeup, y'all. And I took, I took it off and set it on my couch. And I usually put my eyelashes in this little thing. Wow, I forgot. And them lashes, yeah, they disappeared. Probably wanna flow over there. So. Yeah. So, I don't know, you guys. I don't know what happened to them, but uh, they were decent. Um, and I'm gonna sweet. do a review on these wipes, which are, I'm gonna do a review on these Oregon All Wipes. I know it's kind of toe up, y'all, because this is the last wipe, and I wanted to leave the last wipe in there for to show you guys. I actually had been using these, like, um, so, like, I'm not particular about my wipes unless you have sensitive skin. I'm not very sensitive. I don't have sensitive skin. So this is how the clouds look. They're very thick, y'all. You hear that? <laughs> Damn it. Thick. Um, they remove my makeup just fine. The smell, you would think it would smell like organ oil. It doesn't. It's kind of not really a smell. To be honest, like, I mean, to me, it don't smell like nothing. But, <laughs> I mean, they work. They wipe. They remove my makeup. And they was moisturizing. So, would I buy these again? Yeah. And they're not thin. What so, yeah. I like Elf Lengthening and Defining Mascara, which is kind of faded. I have been using this every day. Good reviews. I'm gonna tell you guys the pro about this. It really does lengthen and define your eyelashes. Um, that's why I haven't really been wearing any eyelashes. Um, you probably can't tell. See if I can get close. But no, you're not gonna be able to tell. You're not gonna be able to tell unless I was like to the side or something. But this stuff works. For a dollar, it works. The only con I don't like about this is it gets clumpy. You guys can see. Gets clumpy, and then it gets clumpy all up in here. So I would say if you use this at the every time I use this and I put it in, it's like more product comes out. So what I do is I just wipe it out. Like I just wipe around the rim. I hate nasty stuff, so I wipe around the rim. Would I buy this again? Yep. And if I see them, buy like two of these because it does work. And I think somebody wanted me to do a review on this, so it does work. Okay. I'm gonna do a review on one of these palettes, uh, the Wet n Wild uh, Beauty Benefits. I did a look with this. I should have took a picture and put it in this video or put it on Instagram, but I didn't. I just haven't been in the media world, social, I don't know y'all. I just been so busy, I'm serious. But um, this one, I forgot the name of it. Uh, I thought the name used to be on the back, but it's not on here. I forgot the name of it. But these are the eyeshadows. I have this one and I have the smoky one. Um, I don't have the brown one and the other one. I think I gave those away, yeah, in the giveaway thingy. So, which I don't care, y'all, because I got so many eyeshadows ridiculous. So, that's how it looks. I'm going to do some swatches for you guys right now. Because um, I know a lot of people want to know what the pigmentation looks like. 
you know, trying to swatch with these long ass nails. I need to go to the nail shop, y'all. But those other swatches, and I'm gonna put them on my hand. So, of course, you know, this is wet up while, and you know, come on now, look at that. One dollar. Grape imitation. So I'm thinking this is like a light blue right here. This is not black. This is like a very dark, 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 dark blue with some shimmery. This one right there. That one is just like a darkest kind of blue, and that's white. Nice colors. Still on my hand. Grape imitation. And the last I thing I want to review on is this. I haven't even opened it yet, but I want to do it with you guys. I can't. I'm not gonna tell you guys like, oh, it lasts this long. I don't know, cause you know, I'm just doing it right now, but I did wanna put this in the review. So I want to do a review on this, y'all. I just opened this right now. Just open it up. I want to just put it on, do swatches for you guys, because the other two I bought, one, no, two of them I gave away, and I kept this color, cause I did want this color. And this one is called Fears, if I'm not mistaken. I showed this in my last Dollar Tree haul. So we're gonna see. It's called Makeup Plump. Yeah, Makeup Plump. It's how it looks, you guys. I'm not sure if they still got these at Dollar Trees. That's the color. It doesn't have a smell, that's good. Look, I'm swatching it. That is the swatch. Oh, that's very pretty. So I'm going to put it on my lips, you guys, and tell you guys what I think. Okay, you guys, so this is the swatch. I hope you guys can see the true color. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys, it doesn't have a scent on uh, smell, which is good. The only thing I would say about this is I had to do a lot of swatching to get the color to pay off. Like, like it was a lot, like, uh, you know, some of these you can go one, two, pop, pop, yeah. No, this took a lot of, yeah, <laughs> so, um, but once I got the color payoff, it's awesome. It doesn't feel like too much is on my lips, if you understand what I'm saying. Like some lip glosses and lipsticks can feel like you know some on your lips. Doesn't feel bad. Um, it actually feels like it's not a matte, so I don't know. It's a cream, um, but it's nice. It's a nice color payoff. And that's the only thing I can say about it. That's the color again. Is that it just, you know, takes you to keep going and going. And then that could just be because I have pigments it lips. So yeah, you guys, that's it. My, that's some of my reviews on my Dollar Tree haul products. So if you guys have seen any other haul videos and you want to see a particular item as a review, let me know. And as it all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you love in the next one. Bye. Have a blessing.